Hello guys, this is Jack again, and I am a double A in math tutor for the Jack tutoring. For this video, we are focusing on the analog circuits. There are two types of electronics we are using every day. One is analogs, the other one is digital circuits. Um, recall from all the videos, you already know what is the resistor capacitor or inductor and this type of component all together produce what we call the analog circuit so for example looking at this picture this circuit you see that a capacitor is connecting with an up amp resistor so this type this type of circuit is what we call the analog circuit comparing to the digital circuits is only take the transistor and the logic gates. So analog circuits um, it takes all kind of signal, all continuously variables of signal, which means that um, the signal can be anything from zero up to the four range of uh, measurement. For example, if you have a temperature sensor and the analog circuit is being used to measure the temperature from, for example, 50 degree to uh, 110 and in between it can also take any value like 70.5, 75.8, something like that. Comparing to digital circuits is only take two level of input either high or low because uh, usually the, the digital circuit is used only the binary number of 0 and 1 to represent the signal input so for example anything um, from 50 degree to 70 you represent it with zero for the binary or the low level and anything from 70 to 110 degree you represent it with one and nothing in between for example if you have uh, 59 degree so that is zero and 69 is still 0 until you hit the 70 it become 1 and up until 110 so analog circuits is um, it's useful if you want to measure any um, temperature from 70 or I mean from 50 to 110 and it can take any input value but uh, there's, there's one um, common downside for analog circuit it does, is it easily affected by the noise. So for example, the noise from any sound in the surrounding can um, make a big change for the voltage input or the current. And analog circuits, um, we usually refer it as a linear circuit because you can think of this as, as something is goes smooth from zero linearly up to the highest uh, value of the measurement that you are uh, working on. For example, I um, just talk about the temperature measurement from 50 up to 110 F and you can represent like 50 right here and then 110 so the analog circuits can measure all the temperature in this range linearly it's be this is just the um, the picture that for you to imagine easily and um, the digital circuits it's only take two value like 110 right here right uh, which is from 70 to 110 and then 
0 which is from 50 to 70 something like this and um, people usually um, can easily build a simple analog circuit just by using a breadboard and um, a wire, a battery and um, some resistor and you can build a quick analog circuit uh, by just by this component and you can easily like light up uh, a lamp or um, uh, anything that you want to just do for fun but um, if you want to use a digital circuit you cannot just like use a wire breadboard and um, a resistor you have to buy a chip and a built-in logic gate which is more expensive so that's that's why um, analog circuits is a little bit of low cost comparing to digital, digital circuits but the design of the analog circuits is really complicated and requires to have a really good background um, in circuit designing in order to uh, design a, a complicated uh, mixed si signal circuits um, and digital circuits is really easy to design um, I mean not really easy but simpler compared to analog circuits so that is all the introduction to the analog circuit and um, thanks for watching